from Arizona. Yes. Just he, like uh, Velociraptor. Velociraptor is from Arizona too. Yeah, they were, I think they went to high school together. They've known each other forever. They're roommates, they're like best friends pretty much. He's been doing really, really well at Wednesday Night Fights recently. He's just kind of like had a breakthrough. He won his first Wednesday Night Fights recently. But Huda Man, of course, from Northern California, arguably the best Honda in the country, maybe? Yeah, you know, arguably. <laughs> some some guys would argue. Some other dude who some, uses yeah, Honda. Some guys yeah. who like to struggle, <laughs> who shall be unnamed. <laughs> But Huda Man, definitely one of the strongest Honda players in the country, if not the strongest. And he's going to be going up against Nick here, a.k.a. Driftwood. Huda Man, a very strong player. He was chosen, selected to be on the NorCal 5v5 team at SCR. That is how much the players here in NorCal respect his talents. Yes, very, very, very defensive e Honda player. Yes, he plays yeah. them the way you're supposed to play the character. I know, the way the <laughs> character was designed, right? <laughs> and he even went to, um, there was a tournament recently, in, in like Korea? in Korea, that he, yeah, actually, he actually goes to Korea it. quite a bit. Oh, does he? Yeah, oh, interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Nice. All right, so here comes Driftwood versus Huda Man. Going right into it. Feilong, of course, very good against Honda. Can punish lots of headbutts with his Rekka, especially if he has the EX one. I think he can punish all of them with the EX Rekka. So it's very dangerous for Honda to initiate any offense from headbutts. So Driftwood right now, slowly, yeah, and he can't use that roundhouse kick either. That gets punished as well. And one of the things that if you're a Hooter man or anybody else playing against Driftwood, the, the, the read that you have to have on Driftwood is that his anti-air is weak. So you have to test him out by jumping at him a couple of times. And if he doesn't, see, there you go, no anti-air. So right now, this matchup right here is it's uh, pretty much in face fit. Wow! He got a counter hit off of the command throw. Nice. Getting that focus damage for free. And right now he's just maintaining his pressure. It's, you just see that Huda Man cannot do anything because Huda Man is traditionally defensive. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he has to come out of his normal shell and hold forward, you can see that it's actually quite quite difficult for him. Whereas Driftwood is in full control right now. Oh, okay. And he went for the punish, but he missed it. Maybe he should have went for the EX, like you said. Yeah, but maybe he just figures he has enough life leave. He just doesn't want to even spend the meter at this point. Okay, and just block the record. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just try to make him block the records and get the free chip. That's all yeah. he had to do. I think he was trying to do the butt splash maybe to chase a back dash or a jump back or something, but Driftwood actually uh, went forward. So he avoided the whole thing. Nice throw from Huda Man. He's going to get him in the corner. Oh, no. He still has a life lead, though, so Huda Man can play his game. This is where Huda Man is going to shine, but... Ooh, counter hit confirmed. Ooh. Nicely done by Driftwood. Ooh, stat heavy. Don't jump. Yeah, that's an anti-air from Driftwood. Like I said, pretty rare. It's, it's basically the number one weakness that he has. Oh, and not, not hitting the other two Rekkas, leaving damage on the table. This is what Huda Man needs. So now Huda Man can just play a more solid game. He's still down in life by a little bit, though, so he still needs to get... One more little bit of chip damage. Oh, and Huda Man using that super. Yeah, there That's it is. what he needed. Yep. Get to round three. Who cares about the meter at this point? You need to survive, do as much damage with whatever resource you have. You see Huda Man trying to play very defensive. Well, now, he's, now he's, he has a life lead. No reason for him not to play that way. Uh oh, but now Driftwood in. Ooh, yeah. There it is. Oh, oh, but he misses the forward dash. And Driftwood just needed to hit the ultra there. And yeah. he would have won the game. Especially, uh, Honda's one of the rare characters that you can hit with a three hit chicken wing and still get three hits of the ultra juggle. But then again, there's that stand roundhouse punish that you mentioned earlier. That was great that Driftwood saw that and punished accordingly. Mm -hmm. Smart play. Yep, these guys are in pool G. Uh, Nima, another strong player from NorCal, is here in and this plays pool. Akuma. Kane Blue Rivers in this pool. <laughs> now, Kane Blue River, not known for his Street Fighter play, of course. Yeah, he so. does play Balrog, I believe, but I didn't know he was out here actually. So yeah, that's why I, I was shocked to see his name there. Yeah. 
And you see Huda Man right now, deep in thought, thinking about it. Driftwood talking to him, trying to joke with him, trying to uh, get a, a get a laugh out of him maybe. But Huda Man not not taking any of it. Huda Man just remaining concentrated, thinking very hard. Huda Man is really taking his time. And <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, Christian Kane, <laughs> ETR, sitting there cheering on all of his SoCal brethren in the way that only he knows how to do. All right, so Driftwood right now t up a game, very close to uh, putting this away. He just needs to maintain his solid composure and not let Huda Man play his defensive game. See, like every time people go to Huda Man, they go after him, they lose because his defense is too strong. Yeah, but the hardest thing about it is that Fei Long just has such really good footsies. Like all of his buttons are so good. And so it's really hard a lot of times to keep him out. So th that standing roundhouse is safe because he didn't have the EX meter yet now. But now that he has that bar, standing roundhouse is a risk. And now this isn't looking good for Huda Man because he's getting outclassed with buttons and he got pressured. Okay, this is actually looking alright now. Oh, baited out a flame kick, it looked like. Huda Man's not going for that stand roundhouse follow up. I don't like that. He's leaving damage on the table. Yeah. You need that. You need the life lead. Like, exactly. if he had landed both of those, he'd be in the life lead at this point. Well, the first one was cool because it baited out the, oh, yeah, the right. flame kick, that's but right. the second one, you needed to hit that. Yeah. Huda Man, I, I can't tell who has a life lead right now. I think, okay, I think pretty sure Driftwood has a slight life lead. But that doesn't mean that Huda Man needs to go in because there's still plenty of time and he only needs a tiny bit of chip. And now he has a life lead. Yeah, there we go. Trading chip. 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, he missed that. Nice jump jab from Huda Man. I love it when you see unusual buttons used. It just means the guys know their characters so well. 10 seconds left. What has he got? He's got to do damage. And oh, what a Spears chop. Exactly. And right now, Huda Man will just block and wait it out. Why not? Oh. And that Driftwood was a little too far. See, now that's that's what Huda Man does. That's what he's known for. Yeah. But that was smart to go for the for the command throw because the command throw would have led to damage more and uh, at faster time. Okay, so first blood goes to Driftwood now, but a great Oisho throw from Driftwood. Ooh, and right now, now I mean, Man has this lead, and he can just kind of play his game, slowly walking backwards. Ooh. All right, so right now... Oh, oh, good stuff, and he's going to get big damage off of that. Was that a legit punish? That was a punish. I'm not sure, but it was a good confirm yeah, regardless. But was, yeah, good eyes on him. Ah, oh, neutral jump jab? That's the new button? <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> All right, so right now, Huda Man with no meter, I feel like Driftwood could actually stand to be a little more aggressive. No, oh, but, but it's not, not going to work out there. But not with the focus attack. Yeah, but that is exactly what Huda Man needed to do. You see how it's gone right now. Every time Driftwood's managed to get the lead first, Huda Man is the one who's lost that round. Exactly, because he's pulling Huda Man out of his comfort zone. Right. Um, and right now, it doesn't seem that that's the case. Unfortunately, Driftwood, that second game, never really established the lead. And, be and because he never did. Uh, it just never, yeah. Exactly. It just, Huda Man never felt pressured. So he just maintained his composure. So what we want to see here is uh, an adaptation, really, from Driftwood, just to bring it back to how it was the first game and to see if Huda Man, in turn, can be effective offensively instead of only defensively. Right. All right, so Huda Man doesn't need to make any adjustments. He just needs to play his game. 
So really the key is that he just needs to get the life lead early on. Driftwood is the one who needs to figure something out. All right, and he goes with the business suit, Fei Long. All right, so let's see if Driftwood will start there. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I, I would hope that the guys tell him, hey, man, just uh, do nothing. The Driftwood definitely showing here that his win at Wednesday Night Fights was no... Oh, he's much that a stronger, jumping fierce. Yeah, he's a much stronger player now, but now Huda Man has a life lead, so Huda Man can just basically. Oh, there's that jump jab again! Jump jab is the new jump fierce. Oh, wow! Okay, great read from Driftwood to be able to walk up and get that throw on Huda Man. That's very hard to do. Now he's just trying to pressure him. Catches him with an overhead, so now Driftwood has a slight life lead. But then he just walks right into the jump fierce. Gets punished here. Oh, oops. look at that. Okay, so right now Driftwood, right now Driftwood is keeping it even. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, that terrible was a lot use of meter, meter from uh, Huda Man. Right now, I mean, he might have been able to get punished by Rekka if the hand slap missed the last few hits, but I don't know. Oh wow! wow. Just dash up throw. Okay, setups. Oh, and Ooh. Driftwood missing the Rekkas yeah. off the low jab. But it doesn't matter, though, because he's totally winning. And oh, there's yeah, there nothing that Huda Man can do All right, right now. so just got to walk back. Oh, here we go, Huda Man getting in there. He walks into it, and that's it. Wow. And Huda Man takes it at the last wow. second right there. And, and Driftwood, Driftwood punches the air. He's not happy with the way he threw that around. He threw yeah. that around the way at the end. It was a frantic display. Oh no! Oh, desperation uh -oh. time! Uh -oh. Yeah. Is this what you want to do? This is this is called the mental breakdown here. Unless Driftwood can calm down, or his friends can get convince him to just relax. And there are so many people watching this. There's NorCal people all cheering for Huda Man, and then there's all the SoCal people. SoCal NorCal really do not like each other. And Driftwood right now is. Not oh, oh that's super. Ooh. Now he now Huda Man has full screen control. He has a life lead, and this is it. This yeah. is yeah. Th this is this is probably the nail in the coffin. Now I don't know if Driftwood could make a comeback from this point. And right there, he he's never used the overhead once. Yeah, you know he. Driftwood hasn't really utilized all the options to create fear in Huda Man, and that's unfortunate. That's why Huda Man is comfortable in the corner, yep. blocking down back. Oh, nice. Oh, but that's it right there. Huda Man is going to take it over Driftwood. Great stuff from Huda Man. As soon as Huda Man could establish his game, there really just wasn't much Driftwood could do. Exactly.